Let me welcome on board Willem Milan Vasudev, Senior Technical Analyst at Arihant Capital. Uh, very good afternoon, Milan, and thank you so much for your time. Firstly, what is your take on the index level? Are we, for the second half, are we in to build on to more gains as of now? Because uh, like Winnie was mentioning, that there was a slight dip, a slight nervousness there. But then, once again, we are inching back to the greens and towards the day's highest point as of now. So what's the view for the benchmark indices and which are the levels to track? Uh, good afternoon. If you uh, see Nifty, see today Nifty has a one up with a gap. And uh, again, we are trading at uh, all time high. So we are of the opinion that yes, Nifty is likely to head towards say 22,300 to 22,500 level. There one, one should review the uh, Nifty levels. Uh, but yes, at lower levels like uh, say uh, 20, uh, 20 uh, 1,900, there is a good support. So uh, overall, the breadth of the market also remains positive throughout the trading session. So definitely, there is a um, uh, positive sentiments which are layering in the market and which could take market towards it, uh, what we are expecting towards 22,300 and 22,500 levels. Right. On the sector front, yes, uh, IT, which has really lifted the uh, sentiments and even the pharma pack, pharma pack is also looking uh, good on the uh, charts. You did mention IT and Pharma Pack. My question was going to be on IT and Pharma Pack only because suddenly IT now seems like it's become the flavor in the last couple of days. Do you think that's something that will be staying on for a longer period of time is it, or is it something like a short term that one should look at? And specifically in IT, would you still go towards those mid cap IT names or maybe now large cap also is something that one should look at and pick at? See, if you uh, check the uh, IT sector, IT sector has given a breakout and uh, we are of the opinion that another uh, 10 to 20 percent move from current levels cannot be ruled out. And uh, the strong names like, uh, say, TCS, Infosys, even Emphasis, uh, there is persistence. There are a lot of host of stocks which are showing sign of strength and they could move towards, say, 15 to 20 percent from current level. So one should trade with positive bias in IT sector. Uh, Milan, uh, touching a bit on the auto space uh, then, because last week we have seen uh, good moves coming in on a couple of auto names like Bajaj Auto, Tata Motors, etc. But for today, they are seen to be taking a back seat as of now because some bit of a profit booking, if I could say, in stocks like Hero Motor Corp, Bajaj Auto and even Aisha Motors on the back of a down brokerage downgrade is seen to be under pressure. So one can accumulate at lower levels, uh, uh, even... 50 or 60 rupees on the lower side, keep a stop loss of 40 to 50 and uh, work out with the targets of 4,500 levels. Sure. Uh, Milan, you know, I want to talk about one uh, specific stock. Actually, a couple of these names, railway names, are doing uh, quite well today. You know, whether you look at IRFC, Railway Vikas Nagam, they, that pace has continued. Anything specific on the charts for these railway stocks? See, uh, uh, Today, if you, if you see there are a lot of uh, railway stocks which are showing sign of strength and in the morning also, uh, in uh, so we have given some uh, calls on uh, Railtail, uh, Aircon. So another uh, say 7 to 8% move from current levels cannot be ruled out from uh, these stocks. Right, uh, but Milan, what's the take on ONGC because that's the second day that we are seeing such great moves on uh, this particular stock. Uh, definitely, there's a lot of volatility in terms of the international crude oil prices and ONGC seems to be a bit of beneficiary there. But uh, the kind of a breakout that we are seeing on the technical front, which are the next levels that one should watch out for? Uh, see, on a longer term chart, if you see seven years of breakout uh, in uh, this is a multi year breakout, I feel uh, in ONGC. So, uh, pass uh, and uh, currently it is trading uh, at 52 week high, and um, one can accumulate the stock at current levels also. Keep a uh, stop loss of say somewhere around uh, 200 levels and uh, work with the levels of 250, 256 to an outer, uh, outer extent of 270 levels. Right, Milan, and uh, you know, what are your top picks that you're keeping an eye out on today? 
Yeah, the, uh, both are from the pharma pack. Uh, one is granules, which has uh, shown a good uh, sign of strength. Uh, last I had seen, it was at 426. So I had uh, recommended, we are recommended at 426, keep a stop loss of 410. And the target price would be 458 and 474 in a couple of days time. The second stock is Zydus Life, which is currently trading at somewhere around seven, 716. Uh, stop loss would be 700 and target price would be 700. 740 and 764 limits. Okay, Milan, thank you so much for joining in with us this afternoon on ET Now. It's always a pleasure having you on the show.